Hello YouTube, whenever you deal with building any dashboard on Tableau, presenting those visualizations is a challenging task, especially presenting those map visualization with some limited design which Tableau offers. Here's an amazing video where I'll be sharing how you can customize your map visualizations and present it in most amazing way to your clients. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here I am with this sample dashboard where I have built this visualization using some sample US annual income data where you can see I have plotted what is the average salary based on the cities in the US and the size of these cash symbol represents more or less average income. So smaller the size of these symbol represents cities having lower average income and vice versa. Like for example you can see the size of this cash is large that represents city Chemung has average income of $41091 while you can see the smaller size of these cash symbols this is city Rockland has average income of only $13,000 now just to give a glance about how I have created this visualization let's move towards the back end you can see simply I have plotted my city based on the income I already had this income in my measures so I directly imported this income to the size where the sizes has been differentiated based on the lower and higher average income so that the smaller symbol represents the lower average income and the larger symbol sizes represent higher average income so the you would be questioning how i have imported these cash symbols so simply you need to click on the shape and click on more shapes now you can see you can also you can select from n number of shapes available by default in Tableau like field options, arrow options, bug tracking. So here I have included this new cache symbol. Now how I have included this cache symbol for that you need to click on the search option. You need to type my Tableau repository. Now in this my Tableau repository you can see there is a shape folder. You can click on this shape folder and you can see by default available shapes in Tableau. Now you can click on any shape folder like for example bug tracking and here you can import n number of shapes apps per your convenience as per your requirements. So let's say you are interested in some dollar symbols. So from Google you can directly download that dollar image and directly paste in this shapes folder. And once you have done pasting this symbol, what you need to do is you need to click on reload shapes. So whatever new shapes or images you have imported in those folders, this will be available here and you can use it directly. So that's how I have used these cache symbols. So let's move towards our visualization again. Now you will see everything is great except the map visualizations I am using in the background. It looks quite boring and I don't think it's presentable to any of my clients. So let's see what are the default map visualization available in Tableau. So for that you need to click on this map option over here. And now in background maps you can see there are around 6 to 7 default map visualizations available in Tableau itself. Like for example if you click on dark the background will be dark then if you click on satellite this will be changed to satellite and there are likewise there are more six to seven features and also in this map layers you you have some very basic customization options like enabling the streets country region borders or water labels and cities but these are just very limited customization options. Now keeping these not so great visualizations aside, I'll be introducing you all to an amazing application on which you can customize your own visualizations as per your choice and requirements and later import those visualizations onto your dashboard as well. So let's move towards it. So let me introduce you all to an amazing application that is Mapbox. So Tableau and Mapbox work together to make location analysis much easier, faster and more powerful. So Tableau Vector Maps powered with Mapbox brings us the next generation of business intelligence. Talking about Mapbox, so Mapbox Studio is like a Photoshop for maps. They provide designer control over everything from colors and fonts to even 3D features as well. So let's find out how you can bring amazing customizations to your existing visualizations on Tableau. 
Now let's see how you can move forward to create your own customized visualizations. Now so for that firstly you need to create your own account. Firstly you need to sign in and create your account and you need to log in into that account. Now later once you are on this page once you have logged in you need to click on start mapping for free. Once you click this this particular page will open up. Just wait a minute. And here you need to click on design a custom map style and create a map in studio. So as we discussed map studio is like a Photoshop for maps. So let's see how it works for us. So let's click on this create a map in studio. Now once you're here you need to click on new style but before that you can also read the manual and you can also see the videos like how to create your customized visualizations and try out n number of visualization styles. So firstly we need to click on new style here and once you click on new style you will find n number of options for maps like for example in this basic maps they have n number of variations like base, chilled, then galaxy, spring, seashore, overcast same with the monochrome like for example they provide you this bubblegum style I think this looks pretty good then they have this golden color as well midnight light and dark now they also have the streets but I thought the I think the streets option is available in tablet itself so I didn't find something new over here but in this outdoors this is a complete new visualization which is provided by map box then this navigation satellite streets and also in navigation they have provided two options for navigation night and navigation day now in this my favorite color is bubblegum and it looks pretty good so I'll just proceed with this color and I'll click on this customize monochrome we have here this beautiful visualization the bubblegum visualization which we had selected now in the left hand side we have component it's equivalent layers and the 3d option which we'll be discussing later now in the components we have seven labels which is administrative boundary buildings land water sky and road network transit and in the bottom we have colors and typography so for each label you have selected you can change the color as well and the typography which means you can change the font and size of your fonts now in this colors you can choose from n number of colors but I think in trial version you are strictly restricted to this bubblegum color. Now for example in this land water sky in this type you want to include only land cover. So as per the changes will be made now, for example you want land use and land cover both you can see the changes are reflected. Now in the road networks if you want to include shields as well you can enable these. And you can see the shields are available so there are n number of customizations available in each of the labels available in now you can also select the layers for some detailed customization but some of the features like most of the features are not available due to since it's the trial version or it's I think it would be available in the paid version I think now we saw about components and layer and about the customizations you can do on this map now let's see what this 3d option delivers us so firstly in this 3d option we have projection so there are n number of projection options right from Mercator or natural earth winkle triple equal earth so if we click on equal earth you can see this projection type changes now let's get back to Mercator now one option which excites me more is this 3d terrain option where you can actually enable the mountains and you can actually see the contours over the map so what happens when you enable this 3D terrain now let's enable this and put this exaggeration as let's say 9.2 and when you pitch it to 75% you will actually see the difference. So when you pitch this to 75% you can see mountains getting projected through the map and it literally shows each and every projection on map whether it's a mountain or a plateau you can also see the roads getting through these mountains and number of details. So now let's get back to the normal map we'll click on reset pitch and we'll also disable this enable 3d terrain now coming towards the last and important part of this video is how can you import these visualizations to this tableau visualizations or tableau boring visualizations so for that irrespective of which visualization you choose any color you choose 
to import this visualization to tab view you need to click on this share option now in the share option you will get three options there's preview only website embed and allow copying so this website embed is used when you are integrating these maps into your website but for tab view you need to click on this copy and you need to copy this particular link and now you need to come back to tab view and in this map option you need to click on this background maps and in this background maps you need to click on this add map box map now here it prompts you to enter the style name and url so the link you copied you need to paste it in this url option and this style name you can give name as per your choice so i'll give gaurav one and click on ok So this is how wonderful our dashboard looks like and you can change the color of the dashboard title and background to enhance the presentation and this is how you can import number of visualization and number of wonderful map visualization from Mapbox application to Tableau. So finally this is how a customized and presentable map visualization is integrated into Tableau and you can see it's way more presentable than previous map visualizations. Likewise, you can experiment number of combination and visualization on your own and present it to your potential clients. So this was all from my side and hope you like this video and this video added value. Do hit that like and subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. So signing off for today, stay safe, take care and thank you so much for watching.